Do you need some cards from today's episode? Well, you can pick them up and support the show from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our instant deck tags, it was our modern option, Neo Brand, that came out on top. So this week, we're heading to modern to play a deck influenced, well, actually built by War of the Spark, looking to use Neo Form to allow for literal turn one combo kills. So I'm really excited to give this deck a shot. I have to admit, at first, I was pretty skeptical of this deck. Without the London Mulligan rule, it feels like a deck that really wants a London Mulligan rule. But after talking to people, they're like, it's not really that bad, and it actually might be pretty good, even without the London Mulligan rule. So we're going to give this deck a spin with the normal Mulligan rule, because that's what's on Magic Online. That's the official rule at this point. And uh, see how it goes. So we're going to do a super quick two-minute refresher deck tech just to go over the combo, jump right into the gameplay, see if we can kill some people on turn one with Neo Brandon Modern. Before we do, a super quick reminder, if you haven't already and you enjoy the video, it would be super cool if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Neo Brand. So this is a Neo Form combo deck and the most powerful thing the deck can do is literally win the game on turn one. So that's gonna be our focus. You can do the same combo later, but this is a plan to the deck. So the idea is we have Neoform, let's a sack a creature to tutor for a creature, convert a mana cost equal to the sack creature plus one, it gets a counter, that's not relevant. So Chancellor of the Tangle, along with Simeon Spirit Guide and Mana Morphos, give us the mana to potentially cast Neoform on turn one, assuming we make our land drop. The next piece of the puzzle is Allosaurus Rider, a seven mana creature that we can play for free by exile two green cards from our hand. So if we can have Elzor's Rider, some random green cards, along with our turn one Neoform mana, we can immediately sacrifice Elzor's Rider to Neoform, get a Grizzle Brand, and then once we have Grizzle Brand, we proceed to try to combo off and win the game by drawing into Nourishing Shoal, which lets us exile big green creatures like Auto Cuthion Worm to gain a bunch of life, get more Grizzle Brand activations, until we draw through literally our entire deck, and then we use Simeon Spirit Guides, Wild Can Enter, mana Morphos to make and fix our mana to cast Laboratory Maniac, activate Grizzlebrand one more time, draw an empty library, win the game, turn one with Laboratory Maniac, with Neoform getting Grizzlebrand, etc, etc, etc. So that's what the deck is trying to do. Otherwise, Eldritch Evolution, a little bit slower, but backup version of Neoform, Serum Vision, sleight of hand to set things up if we're not winning on turn one. Summoner's Fact can grab all of our combo pieces. If we need Elzorus Rider, we can get it. If we need something big to exile to Nourishing Show, like Auto Theon Worm or Chancellor of the Tangle, we can do that as well. Noxious Revival gets back stuff from the graveyard. Also, fizzles things like reanimation. Mana Base, 15 lands, bunch of blue dual lands, couple of basics for Blood Moon. Sideboard is about protecting our combo. Chalice of the Void locks out one mana spells. Uh, things like Spell Pierce that could ruin our day. Path to Exile can sometimes be annoying. Pact of Negation to just counter whatever is going to disrupt our combo. Leyline of Sanctity to protect against Discard. Turn 1 Thought Seize from our opponent could really destroy our plans. Echoing Truth, Nature's Claim, Rex Age to get rid of like Pithing Needles or Damping Spheres. Things that could shut down our combo plan. And that is the absurdity of Neo Brand for Modern. And that's our Much of Brew deck for this week. So let's jump into some gameplay. See how ferocious and scary this deck actually is with our current normal Vancouver mulligan rule. See if we get some turn one kills. See if we do some crazy things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy the gameplay and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are trying to kill opponents on turn one with Neo Brand and uh, this hand doesn't have a creature, so we're going to have to mulligan. Huh. So this hand has Allosaurus Riders, but no Neoform. So I think we mulligan. Oh my god. Uh, alright. Mulligan. Well, I guess that's as good as it gets. Land to the bottom. This is a slow hand. Pass the turn. Yeah, we're gonna need multiple things to go right for this to work. Island for our opponent. And passes. 
Another Neoform. So we can Summoner's Pact for a Allosaurus Rider. The problem is we got to exile two green cards. So we can't actually cast it yet. If we draw one more green card, we can go for it. Although if our opponent has a counter, we just lose. Seam events untapped. All right. Well, come on, green card for the potential win. Green card? Island. Well, play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Draws. Thing in the ice. Green card. Green card. Opponent. Pass it. I mean, if we draw it, we got to go for it. That's a green card. Uh, all right. Well, uh. So cast this. Exile this and this. Yeah. I mean, we got to go. Summoner's back. Take Allosaurus Rider. Allosaurus Rider. Exile, exile. Neoform. Sack Allosaurus Rider. Grizzlebrand. Draw. Okay. Draw. That's good. So Nourishing Shoal, exile our worm. Gain 15. Summoner's Pack. Take another worm. Nourishing Shoal, exile a worm. Draw some cards. Okay. Opponent gets an island. Sure. Thought Scours. Yeah, that's fine. I guess they're hoping to mill something relevant of ours. Um, draw, draw. There's Lab Maniac. So that should that should be fine. So we Nourishing Shoal, Exile Chancellor of the Tangle, draw. Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide, Nourishing Shoal, Exile Chancellor of the Tangle, Lab Maniac, and draw. And that is Neobrand, and that is the combo kill, and we mauled a four, and we still crushed our opponent. Mauled a four, crushed him. Crush, 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 crush. Okay. Ah, uh, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> I gotta say, that is not the type of hand that you would think would win with a deck like this, but it actually did just win, but win pretty easily. So that was it close to a turn one win hand but a win's a win so yeah i mean impressive uh all right opponents on is it phoenix our question is how do we want a sideboard against is it phoenix i'm thinking chalice if we want to disrupt our opponent chalice can be pretty good chalice on one shuts down a huge percentage of our opponent's deck. Uh, opponent's probably going to bring in some counters, I would guess. Spell pierces, most likely. Um, yeah. So, all right. How do we want to do this? I think we bring in the three chalices. And then maybe just run it like that. What can we cut is the other question. I'm assuming the easiest things to trim are some of the cantrips. Makes it less consistent, but is probably the easiest cut. We can probably cut the canter as well, maybe. Actually, yeah, all right, cut a canter. And then, do we want a Pact of Negation? One Pact of Negation might be worth it. All right, let's try it like that. Custom cad trips, go up chalice to give us another, like, I win on turn one plan. Like, fast mana chalice is also pretty devastating. Huh. This hand is weird. So we can Chancellor, Mana Morphos, Mana Morphos, Serum Visions. Hmm. It's all mana. I guess we mulligan. Well, okay. This is a potential turn one win hand. We have the mana. We have the Allosaurus Rider. We have two cards to exile. Uh, mana Morphos to the bottom. All right. Reveal Chancellor. And uh, let's see what our opponent has. Do they have a spell pierce? If they do, they beat us. If they don't, we win on turn one. Seam vents untapped. Opponent. Uh, representing something. All right, let's see what we draw. Nourishing Shoal. Well, add a mana. Play the island. Do we want a Manamorphose? 
Yeah, let's let's metamorphose. Kind of want to see if our opponent will tap out for something. Add green, add blue. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you play this deck to not go for it. So, uh, exile Chancellor, exile Summoner's Pact. And, I mean, do you got a counter? All right, opponent found the counter. Well, now we almost assuredly lose. I mean, picture that hand, though, if we were on the play and we just auto win. Like, that's turn one win. Opponent has no lands. They have no way to interact. Uh, opponent's deck does not play many spell pierces, so it's a little bit unfortunate that they had one. They might have two counter spells in their entire deck. So it's a little bit unfortunate that they uh, had exactly what they needed. But yeah, this deck is not going to reassemble very quickly. Good news is... We're on the play for game three, and Pony can't spell Pierce on the draw. I mean, if we have the turn one hand, they just, they lose. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal to have the turn one win draw and have it not work. Opponent, lightning bolts our face. Sure, do your thing about it. I mean, we probably can honestly scoop here. We don't really have a way to reassemble our combo fast enough before this thing in the ice kills us. Opponent casting spells, casting spells, casting many spells. Yeah, a million gut shot. Man, opponent's hand was really bad, but it had a spell beers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad we did scoop. Uh... Oh, and the shame! The shame scoop! Oh my god! I think, I think what happened there is... Uh, I think our opponent thought that when Thing in the Ice flipped, it would become a different... Uh, object and it would fizzle the set adrift, but it doesn't actually work uh, that way. So instead, our opponent kind of like five for one themselves to try to flip that thing in the ice and then put it back on top of their deck. <laughs> well, uh, they found the spell fears for our combo, but then they kind of anti combo themselves. Uh, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. All right. Uh, well, let's try that again. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are looking to win on turn number one with Neoform. Neobrand. And, ha. Huh. Well, I think we keep this hand. We don't have a Neoform. That's what we're missing. We need, if we draw Neoform, uh, wait, we're on the play? Hmm. I don't think we reveal this, Chancellor. No reveal. Botanical Sanctum. Serum Visions. Um, bottom, bottom. Pass the turn. We need a Neoform or an Eldritch Evolution. Uh, and we should, we should have the combo kill. Scalding Tarn for our opponent passes. Neoform. Uh, well, let's sleight of hand. Take Noxious Revival. Play Botanical Sanctum past the turn. We might end up putting a cantrip back on top of our deck. Opponent untaps. Steam vents. Tapped. See what our opponent does. If they tap out, we're more likely to want to go for it. Like Sleight of Hand on top gives us one extra look to find Neo Brand or Eldritch Evolution. Because we have Alice Horse Rider, Exile to Dorks. We just need a way to turn that into a grizzle brand. Mountain. Spirit guide. What was this? Blood moon. As foretold. Okay. And restore balance. All right. So we will noxious revival. Put sleight of hand on top of our deck. Hmm. That is pretty bad. Discard spirit guide. Discard breeding pool. Oh, wait. Just kidding, we gotta keep cards. Well, keep our combo pieces, I guess. Opponent passing. Oh, now we don't have the mana, even if we find it. Well, take Eldritch Evolution. Pass the turn. 
Yeah, this might be tricky in this matchup. Opponent untaps. As for Dold, pick it up. Opponent probably has a lot of counters. Talaria West tapped. And passes. Yep. We draw. Well, I mean, we're going to go for it. If we don't get it, then we probably concede. But, uh, all right. Breeding Pool. Untapped. Allosaurus Rider. Exile, Exile. Do you have a counter? And, uh, all right. I mean, here we go. Eldritch Evolution. Sack that. Got a counter? Yeah, all right. Well, you live by the turd what kills, you die by the turd what kills. <laughs> Uh, so, ha, huh. Chalice of the Void, ugh, shuts down Restore Balance. We don't have a way to deal with the counters, though. I guess we could bring Impact of Negation. Like, go down Sleight of Hands, Wild Canter, go up Pact of Negation. And we probably need to bring in some sort of protection, like Echoing Truth, maybe? Manamorphose Serum Vision? All right, try it like that. We're on the play. Let's just get a turn one win hand. That hand does nothing. This hand... Hmm. Doesn't do it. This hand has zero. Oh, boy. Zero mana in both Grizzle brands. Well, with great power comes great mulligans. And down to four. Well, I mean, we're keeping this. Breeding pool on top. Oh, not confident here. Land go. We need a lot of pieces to be able to combo. Many, many, many pieces. Steam vents for our opponent. Untapped. And Serum Visions. Well, we put our opponent to the test pretty early last game. After getting Restore Balanced. And they had a counter. Breeding Pool. Go. Opponent. Untaps. Island. Passes. Misty Rainforest. Go. Opponent. Tap land. Well, crack misty, thin our deck. Take a breeding pool. Botanical sanctum. We've drawn a lot of our 15 lands. Pass the turn. Opponent. I guess maybe we should get a basic because of Blood Moon. That might have been a slight misstep to not play around Blood Moon. Serum visions for our opponent. Tap land. Passes. We draw Neo form. All right. That's not super helpful. Opponent. Yeah, matchups with a lot of counter spells feel challenging. Gargadon. Suspended. Opponent passes. Good god. More lands. <laughs> uh, and I think this is also probably somewhat the drawback of siding out cantrips. Which feels like the only thing you can really sideboard out, but... Opponent. Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon Spirit Guide. What is our opponent trying to do? Electro Dominance. Oh, yeah, I think this this probably is game. Restore balance, sex all the lands. Four mana floating makes me think they have Jace. And if they play Jace, we're definitely done. I mean, even if they don't play Jace, we're probably done. Yep. Keep three cards, opponent. Okay, they just did that for fun. Passes. Summoner's pack. Pass the turn. So, boy... If we had one more turn, this could have worked. Summoner's Pack can find Allosaurus Rider. The problem is, we don't have the mana. We we drew so many lands. Ugh, maybe we should have held on to... I don't know. Maybe we could have played it better. Opponent takes down Gargadon. Finds a land. We draw Uruchithian Worm. Yep. That's not going to do it. Gargadon, took it down. Suspends Ancestral. Passes. Good lord. Boy... Yeah, maybe we should have held on to lands. But then we would have had to discard other stuff. We might have just been doomed, regardless. Ancestral takes down Gargadon. Opponent passes. Land? Manamorphose. Well, pass the turn. There is a weird way that this works out. It is very unlikely. But if we draw another Simeon Spirit Guide or a land, we can try to combo. Gargadon comes down. Opponent combat attacks. Hits us. Land? Well. Alright. Misty Rainforest. Crack it. We gotta try. Grab an island. I mean, our opponent could have a counter. Simeon Spirit Guide. Manamorphose. Uh oh. Boy. Alright. And that's game. <laughs> well, I guess if that's what our opponent has, it doesn't matter what we do. Well, all right. 
Interesting. All right. Much brew about nothing time. Trying to get some turd one wins with Neo brand in modern. And, uh, <sighs> all right. I mean, I guess we keep this. We have Eldritch Evolution. Well, I think we mulligan, actually. Ooh, okay. This looks like a turn one win hand. Yeah, okay. I mean, we get to spin the wheel. This is what we've been waiting for. We're even on the play. We will keep. Scrying doesn't matter. Reveal Chancellor for an extra mana. Go to our main phase. Add the mana. Well, here we go. Here we go. Do we fizzle? Summoner's pack for Allosaurus Rider. Land untapped. Allosaurus Rider. Exile Chancellor and Neoform. Turn one. Turn one. Allosaurus Rider. Neoform for Grizzlebrand. There's a risk that we fizzle. It's not super high, but it's possible. Draw with Grizzlebrand. Okay, now we shouldn't fizzle. Exile the worm. Gain some life. Summoner's Pact. Get the worm. Exile the worm. Gain some life. Do some card drawing. Draw. Now we're looking for Simeon Spirit Guides. There's one. Draw. Um. Draw. Uh, draw. There's Lab Maniac. And Nourishing Shoal. So Nourishing Shoal, Exile, Chancellor, uh, only one. Hmm. Do we need to put back the Nourishing Shoal is the question. Yeah, I guess we will. Nourishing Shoal, put, or, er, yeah. Noxious Revival, put back Nourishing Shoal. Some, um, draw. There's a Spirit Guide. Nourishing Shoal, Exile, Chancellor. So we're up to two spirit guides. Uh, let's summoners pack. See what's left in our deck. Do we have a green creature? We do. So as long as our two spirit guides aren't the literal last cards in our deck, then we should have it. Draw. All right. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Play Wild Canter. Sack it for blue. Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon Spirit Guide, wherever it may be in this huge hand. And then Lab Maniac, last piece of the puzzle. And that is our opponent losing the game on turn one. They did not get to make a single land drop. We got them. We got them, and that is the power of the deck. I mean, I don't know how in the world we sideboard, because we don't even know what deck our opponent's on. Uh, well... <laughs> I mean, let's bring it to Echoing Truce as a hedge, I guess. I, uh, okay, run it like that, because we have no idea. That is insane. That is turn one modern kill. And wow. I got to say, this deck makes stuff happen. <laughs> Crazy things happen in the world of Neo Brand. Good, bad, indifferent. Stuff happens all the time. And I mean, ah. <sighs> We've had some bad games. We've had some absurd games like that one. But if you want stuff to happen, this deck makes stuff happen fast. I wish I knew what our opponent was playing. That's actually a odd but meaningful drawback to winning on turn one. <laughs> that we don't really know how to sideboard at all. Like, at all. All right, well, well how's this hand look? Summoner's Pack can get our Allosaurus Rider. Serum Visions, Manamorphose. Yeah, I think we can do better. Oh, that hand's as bad as it gets. Huh? Okay. This is the combo, but without mana. There's a land. All right. Well, we'll see what our opponent's playing. Arid Mesa. Wait, does this let us go for the win? Not quite. So we can... We have to exile two green cards. Okay, so Misty Rainforest, go. We can't go for the win yet. We're we're actually close because we can Summoner's Pack for Wild Canter to make the mana we need for Neo Form, but we're short a green card. We can I exile Noxious Revival, but we can't exile Neo Form. So, so yeah, we were actually shockingly close to turn one win again, but we're gonna have to wait another turn. Opponent. Please, not blue mana. 
Sacred Foundry. Okay. Tapped. Bonant. So we basically just need any green card, and we can attempt a combo. Wooded Foothills. Passes. All right. Crack Misty. What is this? All right. So we get a breeding pool. Tapped. Untap. Yeah, that's a green card. Well, I mean, I guess we go for it. That's what we came here to do. So, Summoner's Pack. Take Wild Canter. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Wild Canter. Exile Noxious Revival Eldritch Evolution. For Allosaurus Rider. And Neoform. Grizzlebrand. Draw seven. Ooh, all right, draw seven. Hmm. I think this means we lose. Exile, exile. And yeah. All right. Well, they got us. They got us. That is a way they can get around it. Hmm. We needed to hit a nourishing shoal to keep gaining life. They did minimize minimize uh, the number of draws we would get, essentially, by pathing there. I think we just run it back, honestly. I guess we could bring in a little bit more, like a nature's claim, maybe? We really just want the, the turn one win hand. That's, that's what we're hoping for. We get to play first. Hmm. Summoner's Pact, Allosaurus Rider. This hand doesn't do it. Chancellor, nature's claim. That hand is pretty bad. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess this is where we we end. Misty, go. Well, this hand's not good. We're missing all of our combo pieces. We do have a uh, way to gain a bunch of life. Inspiring Vantage. Oh, our opponent's playing Burn? Oh. Well, just gaining a ton of life with Nourishing Shoal is going to be helpful. Opponent gets it and hits us. Untap. Botanical Sanctum. Pass the turn. Arid Mesa for our opponent. Gets in, hits us. We are a long way away from winning, though. We need a lot of pieces to try to combo. Bone it. Rift Bolt suspended. Well, crack Misty Rainforest. Take a Breeding Pool. Untap. Draw. A Sanctum. Well, play Botanical Sanctum. Oh. All right, I guess we do this now. Go up to 32. So this buys us time, but... Our opponent will deal that amount of damage eventually, and we still have zero combo pieces, and now we don't have green cards in hand, but I feel like we have to do it because of cards like Atarka's Command and Skullcrack. If we wait, there's a chance we don't get to gain the life, because those cards are cards you would definitely sideboard in, because fizzling our life gain definitely would beat us. Yeah, down to 29. Opponent, combat, land, skewer the critics. Well, we need a whole host of things to go right here. Hmm. Would have brought in Ley Lines if we knew our opponent was on burn, but we just didn't see enough of our opponent's deck in either game to know uh, to know what our opponent was actually playing. Opponent gets in, hits us, 23. Passes. Opponent. All right, opponent does pass. We draw Neoform. Well, I mean, that is a piece of the puzzle. Although, we need a lot of cards to try to combo. Opponent untaps, cracks uh, their fetch land. We need two green cards, and also, hmm, and also an Allosaurus Rider. Opponent bolts, sure, down to twenty. So back down to our starting life total. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent combat, getting in, hitting us. Yeah. Opponent Boros Charm. Okay. Down to 16, down to 14. Opponent passes. Ugh, Grizzlebrand is our worst draw. We actually actively want Grizzlebrands in our deck. Opponent untaps. If we draw our second Grizzlebrand, then we can't win. Combat gets in, hits us. Well, Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Well, our opponent's going to deal 35 damage this game by the looks. Very slowly, I might say. Opponent. Okay, to 11. Opponent. <laughs> Thinking it over. Hits us to 9. Passes. Well, Serum Visions. 
Put on top, put on top. Pass the turn. We need a lot of green guards. I don't know if we can live long enough. Opponent, combat, attacks. Hits us to eight. Lightning helix. Well, all right. Let's bounce Swift Spear. Opponent passes. So, Serum Visions. Draw Allosaurus Rider. Put on bottom, put on top. <laughs> okay. Spirit Guide, cast a Spirit Guide. Pass the turn. I wonder if it'd be worth being able to Neo form Spirit Guide into something. Opponent, cracks Bloodstained Mire. They could just have two more bolts to win here. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Uh, okay. Well, this is a good example of, I guess, getting punished by our opponent not knowing this matchup. Searing Blaze is essentially a dead card. Uh, you 100% do not want Searing Blaze in your deck. But it kind of worked out for our opponent there. Uh, we will pass the turn. Yeah, I assume we're... We're dead. Huh. Yeah, this is so awkward. I mean, we can stay alive a little longer, maybe, by Nourishing Shoal. If our opponent doesn't have a burn spell. Back up to ten. But now we have no combo pieces again. Land for our opponent. Swift Spear. Yeah, Searing Blaze. If you ever play this matchup, don't play Searing Blaze. There's, it literally does nothing. Down to nine. Opponent passes. We draw land. And I'll play the land. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Combat. Attacks. This is a weird deck. It either does everything or it does nothing. There's not really... Not really in between. When it does everything, like we saw in game one, it's insane. When it does nothing, as we're seeing now, a little bit less insane. Opponent. In the tank. Yeah. Gets in. Uh-huh. <laughs> Down to three. Opponent. Passing. We draw. All right. Nothing. And we scoop it up. Well, that was an interesting one. That's for sure. Game one was insane. Those second two games, there's a very big disadvantage to killing opponents so quickly that you don't know what they're playing. And that was kind of shining uh, through in the last two games. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are Neo branding, and wait, is this a the turn one win hand? Eh, it looks like a turn one hand to me. All right, we will keep it. I mean, hopefully turn one, hopefully. So reveal Chancellor of the Tangle, extra green mana. I mean, we get the turn one Grizzle brand. Leyline is Sanctity, doesn't stop our kill. So we get an extra mana. We Misty, Kraken, Island, Allosaurus Rider, Exile, Exile, Neoform, Grizzlebrand. Draw seven. Draw seven. All right. Well, I guess we're going. Um, Summoner's Pact for a Worm, Nourishing Shoal, Exile the Worm. Draw seven. Nourishing Shoal, Exile, Chancellor, draw seven. Nourishing Shoal, Exile, actually, let's Summoner's Pact. Summoner's Pact. Take a Allosaurus Rider. Nourishing Shoal, Exile, Allosaurus Rider. Draw seven. Nourishing Shoal, Exile, Allosaurus Rider. How many Spirit Guides do we have? One, two... All right, so Exile Spirit Guide, Exile Spirit Guide, Exile Spirit Guide, Mana Morphos, add blue, Laboratory Maniac, draw seven, draw seven. Ha! Turn one, turn one, dumb. Uh, what plays main deck ley lines? <laughs> Boggles, maybe? <laughs> Oh, this deck is hilarious. This deck is hilarious. I don't, I have no, literally no idea how good it is. Uh, it's probably the best deck for winning on turn one in modern. It, it can be maddeningly inconsistent, but uh, hands like that kind of make up for any clunkiness because those hands are just insane. Just 
insane. Well, uh, that was easy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, so we saw Leyline is saying, did he? <laughs> I guess we're just gonna, just gonna hedge and bring in a couple echoing truths. It's probably, I don't know, Boggles? Boggles would be my guess. This hand, oh lord. Okay. Uh, if we get a Simeon Spirit Guide, we win on turn one. Planes for our opponent. And passes. Metamorphose. Um, let's Misty Rainforest pass the turn. Well, we have the win. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Let's see what our opponent does. Opponent's just got to be happy that they lived a turn. Thraben Inspector. Yep. Gets a clue. Well, we're going for it. Crack Misty. Get a Breeding Pool. Tapped. Untap. Serum Visions. Oh, well, Breeding Pool. Untapped. Manamorphose. Add Blue Green. Allosaurus Rider. Actually, let's... Let's Manamorphose again. For Blue Green. We're trying to find Life Gain, basically. Okay, Chancellor. So, Allosaurus Rider. Exile, Exile. Neoform. Sack Allosaurus Rider. Get daddy. Uh, draw. There's a path. All right, we got to hit Life Gain. Nourishing Shoal. <clears throat> That's not a Nourishing Shoal. Okay. Well, grab a island. We draw seven. Do we hit a Nourishing Shoal? No. Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. That's awkward. Now what? Well, I guess there is a fizzle rate. Can we do anything? Summoner's packed. <laughs> yeah, I guess we just have to pass. Which is very awkward. Yeah. I don't even think we can... Well, okay. Let's Allosaurus Rider. Exile. Two Chancellors. Pass the turn. Discard. 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 All right. All right, all right, all right. The downside now is we can't actually activate Grizzlebrand immediately if we get it. Unless we just top deck... All right, opponent plays Mindstone. Unless we just top deck a Nourishing Shoal. Wall of Omens. Okay. Opponent. Passing. Nourishing Shoal? Oh. Okay. Well, now we should be good. Nourishing Shoal. Exile Worm. Neoform for Grizzlebrand Part 2. Draw. Oh my goodness, are we going to whiff again? Draw. Oh! Oh, that's a uh, that's that's not good. That's very not good. Oh, all of all of our nursing shoals are at the very bottom of the deck. Okay. Um. Huh. Now what? Let's <laughs> serum vision. Uh. Into spirit guide. Put two lands to the bottom. Allosaurus rider. Exile. Neoform and Eldritch evolution. Land and Wild Canter. Pass the turn. Discard a ton of lands. Summoners packed. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> okay about it. Uh, now what? The old double whifferino. <laughs> Land for our opponent. Uh, okay. Banishing Light. Going to get rid of our Grizzle Brand. Well, we do have Echoing Truth, so we can get back rid of that. Boy, we are playing this a lot more fair than you would expect. Opponent passes. We draw Summoner's Pact. Well, go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks. Yup. Pass the turn. <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> this is not the plan. We might still be winning this game. Somehow, three of our Nourishing Shoals are buried at the bottom of our deck. Opponent plays a land. Oblivion Ring gets rid of Allosaurus Rider. Okay. Thraben Inspector, part two. Opponent, passing. Well, let's Echoing Truth, Banishing Light. Get back Grizzlebrand, untap. Go to combat, attack. Hit our opponent. Up to 11. 
Noxious Revival Nourishing Shoal. Well, this game showed some resilience. Resilience to the fizzles. Draw. Nourishing Shoal. Exile Worm. Nourishing Shoal. Exile Allosaurus Rider. Exile some Spirit Guides. Manamorphos. Add Blue. Lab Maniac. And we got there. Draw a Grizzlebrand. We have another activation if our opponent has anything. Huh. Well, even though that wasn't our most beautiful win, that might be one of our most impressive wins because it shows an example of the deck winning when things, when things do not go well. That's an example of our deck getting kind of unlucky to just not be able to find a nourish, nourishing shoal in the top half of our deck, and we were still able to win the game. So, uh, all right. All right, all right. I mean, turn one kill, turn whatever, five kill, which for some reason, as silly as that sounds, feels incredibly slow for this deck, but uh, all right, we'll take it. Sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Neo brand in modern. And this hand, huh, it's pretty close. Summoner's Pact can get Allosaurus Rider. Hmm. Is it close enough? We're lacking a green card because we can't actually have both Eldritch Evolutions and our mana isn't right. We are on the draw. Yeah, we're going to keep this, I think. Little risky to have Lab Maniac in our hand if this is a Thought Seize matchup, but his Ink Wagmire. Well, it is a Thought Seize matchup. Well, let's see what we draw. Botanical Sanctum. Well, Breeding Pool tapped. Pass the turn. So if we draw a green card and our opponent doesn't Thought Seize us, we could try to win this coming turn. All right, Dark Confidant, come on, green card. Any green card will do. Any green card in our deck. Opponent, passes. Nourishing Shoal is a green card. All right, we're going for it. So, uh, Summoner's Pact, get Allosaurus Rider, play Botanical Sanctum. Little bit painful to have to exile Nourishing Shoal, but that's fine. Exile Eldritch Evolution, Nourishing Shoal. Simeon Spirit Guide, Eldritch Evolution, Sack Allosaurus Rider, get Grizzle Daddy, and here we go. Draw seven. No Nourishing Shoal. Well, let's, we already Summoner's Pact, so we're dead. All right, so Summoner's Pact, take a Worm. We have to hit Nourishing Shoal on this draw. All right, there's a Nourishing Shoal. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, Nourishing Shoal, Exile Worm. Summoner's Pack, get a Worm, Grizzlebrand, Nourishing Shoal, no, but Noxious Revival gets it back, so Noxious Revival, put back Nourishing Shoal, draw, Nourishing Shoal, Exile Worm, Nourishing Shoal, Exile Chancellor, draw, huh, there is some risk here, let's Summoner's Pact, we need our last, hmm, we need to hit our last Simeon Spirit Guide. If it's stuck at the bottom of the deck, we could lose. So exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Manamorphose. Add blue green. Manamorphose. Blue green. Hmm. Manamorphose. Blue green. Oh, there it is. All right, Simeon Spirit Guide. We found it. We found it. We found it. Lab Maniac, activate. And that does it. Turn two. Turn two against Jund. Oh, Lord. All right. There was a little bit of nervousness there where we could have whiffed, but our deck came through. Against Jund, I believe we just bring in all the Ley Line of Sanctities. That seems like the smartest plan. Um to protect against discard, which is probably the easiest way our opponent's going to beat us. So bring in the ley lines for more protection. Go down two sleight of hands. Go down... Ugh. What do we cut? What do we cut? There's so many cards that it feels like we can't really cut. Maybe we can cut, like, a Chancellor and a Serum Visions? Let's go one Chancellor, one Eldritch Evolution. Try it like that. A little bit different sideboarding plan. All right. All right, all right. Turn two. Turn two, it's not bad. Opponent's on the play. This means we just need to turn one hand. 
one out of the next two games. And also, not to get got by... Hmm. This hand is interesting. We have Ley Line, but that's basically it. All right, we're going to mulligan. Ooh, okay. I will keep nourishing Shoal, I guess. It is a green card. All right. Ley Line, go. We have the combo. We just need the mana for it. Opponent. His in Quagmire. Passes. Uh, Botanical Sanctum. Go. Opponent. Blooming Marsh. Dark Confinant. Come on! Simeon Spirit Guide off the top. Summoner's Pact. Hmm. Well, play Misty Rainforest. Crack it. Grab a Forest. Manamorphose. Looking for that Spirit Guide. Or a land. Green, green. Manamorphose. Green, green. Ugh. Alright. Uh, pass the turn. Opponent. Bob. Hits a scavenging ooze. Gets in with Bob. Yup. Down to 17. Tarmogoyf. Land. Uh, Alright. Serum Vision. Bottom. Top. Pass the turn. I mean, we get to go for it next turn. Neoform lets us do it for two mana. Alright. Opponent's going to extract our Serum Visions. Well, now they know. They know the jig is up. Do they have an answer is the question. <laughs> what do you got, opponent? Serum Visions isn't essential here by any stretch. Opponent untaps. Dark Confidant. Field of Ruin. Not relevant. Field of Ruin. Opponent. Liliana of the Veil. Ticks up. Well, discard Elder's Evolution. This does make it risky. Opponent gets in. Hits us. Down to 11. Well, we untap, we draw... Alright, so Allosaurus Rider, that does help. Exile, Summoner's Pack, Eldritch Evolution, Neoform, into Grizzlebrand. Come on, big green thing. Okay, that works. Summoner's Pack, get a worm. Exile the worm. Gain some life. Grizzlebrand. Hmm. Alright, Grizzlebrand. Summoner's Pack. Get a worm, and I think we got it. Get the worm. Nourishing Shoal. Exile the worm. Nourishing Shoal. Actually, that's Summoner's Pact. Summoner's Pact. Get a Chancellor. Where's Nourishing Shoal? Nourishing Shoal. Exile Chancellor. Draw. There's Lab Maniac. There's Simeon Spirit Guide. Draw. Okay, there it is. Uh, Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon Spirit Guide. Wild Canter. Blue. Lab Maniac. Actually, first we need to Nourishing Shoal. Nourishing Shoal, this. Lab Maniac. Now we have two activations ready. Draw. And that's a game! And that is a 3-2 for Neobrand. And that deck is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It is... Probably the deck in modern most likely to win on turn one. Probably also the deck most likely to lose in spectacular fashion, as we saw in some of our matchups. What a deck! What a deck! All right, well, good news is we get a treasure chest. A single, a single treasure chest to open. We can talk about the deck in the wrap-up. Let's crack it open. Treasure chest. Well, all right. 20 play points. Where ancients tread? Eh. Eh. I mean, 20 play points is like $2, so not a horrible chest, but not exciting. Well, uh, yeah, that deck is something. Whew. All right, sweet. Sweet, sorry. So what do we learn this week about Neo Brand in Modern? And overall, we finished 3-2 and two in our league, so a winning record. And I have to say, this is either the best or worst deck in Modern, depending on the matchup and the draw. So we had some absolutely spectacular, just insane turn one kills, which are the biggest reason to play this deck. This deck is probably the modern deck that can most easily and consistently kill the opponent on turn one. And it is all thanks to Neobrand. So that is the good news about the deck. The combo is really scary and it is a great way to kill people quickly. On the other hand, we had some bad games. We had some fizzly games. So the risk of the deck, first off, it mulligans a ton. And with the London mulligan rule, I imagine this deck is absolutely a nightmare to play 
play against. It's going to find the combo so consistently that this might actually be a ban-worthy deck with the London Mulligan rule. With the normal Mulligan rule, the deck is still good enough. We finished with a winning record, even with normal mulligans, and we were consistently mulliganing to five, to four. We did win some games where we mulled to four. We also lost some. So that's one concern, is the deck does mulligan a lot in search of combo pieces. The other thing is, there is still some fizzle rate built into the combo after we get a Grizzle Brand. Uh, so you saw some of our opponents, like, pathing with the first Grizzle Brand activation on a stack. That can let us not hit a nourishing shoal in time. We also had a game where we still ended up winning against uh, Death and Taxes where we were able to uh, draw half of our deck I think and not hit a nourishing shoal and we had to like win in future turns and it was very awkward. So there still is some risk of just not hitting the nourishing shoal and fizzling that way but really this deck is extremely powerful, and it's more consistent than I would have imagined. I do think that it's obviously better with the London Mulligan rule. So if you see the London Mulligan rule announced as the official Mulligan rule, I would expect that this deck will immediately be one of the more popular decks in the format. With the current Mulligan rule, like I said, I think this deck is still good, and it's still competitive, and the combo is still insane, but you do mulligan into those fizzled draws more often with this mulligan rule. So, all around, this deck is super scary. It is a scary deck. Imagine Grishel Brand, except Grishel Brand that doesn't care about graveyard hate. Like, you just don't care about surgical extractions, and rest in pieces, and relic of progenitus, and all the gotcha sideboard cards that people play to deal with decks like Grishel Brand. This deck is is fast, or faster than Gris Shoal Brand, but it doesn't care about the graveyard, which is a huge benefit in a world where everyone's played graveyard hate, so Neo Brand, I don't know what else to say. The deck feels pretty legit, and I assume it's even more legit with the London Mulligan rule, so keep an eye out for this one. If you want to try to kill people on turn one with either Mulligan rule, this deck is an insanely good option for the modern format, and uh, if London Mulligan Rule becomes a real rule, watch out for this deck. It will probably shoot to the top of the format. Might even be something that people are going to ban because uh, modern, traditionally, turn four, quote unquote, was Wizards' uh, goal for the format. Over the years, that's kind of changed. We see more turn three kills, but I have a hard time imagining that Wizards is going to allow a really consistent turn one combo deck to be part of modern. Maybe they reprint Force of Will in Modern Horizons or something, but apart from that, uh, I think this deck, if the London Mulligan rule goes into effect, is very high on the look out for it at the tournaments right after the rule change list, and also very high on the uh, are we going to ban it? Do we have to ban it? Can we let people kill each other on turn one? Like, we had games where our opponent didn't even make a single land drop when we comboed off and killed them, which is just insane. It is insane, especially when we don't scoop to Surgical Extraction, which is like the card that saves people from dying to those kills. So, all around, Neo Brand, absolutely insane. So, if you're looking for something spicy to do with a bit of War of the Spark thrown in for Modern, Give it a shot and kill people on turn one. It's a super sweet combo. Anyway, that's been our Munch of Brew for this week. Neil Brand for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.